So, so, today, you know, I don't like to do two videos that are very similar right after each other. I think it's in poor taste, ungentlemanly, not classy. See this scar right there? Got it from doing something like this. I ate a banana. The day after I ate a banana. So, but you may be wondering, why am I doing a conspiracy video? Well, it's because I was around school today. And a lot of people were talking about the Mandela Effect. I did not know much about the Mandela Effect. So, I decided to look into it today when I got home to this beautiful house. Thanks, Mom. I decided to look into this beautiful effect. And I figured out that's actual bullshit. I listened to what they had to say. I listened to the videos they directed me to. Um, though the people they directed me to were attractive, they weren't the most intelligent. So... Let's start from the beginning. Those of you who don't know, the Mandela Effect is named after Nelson Mandela, who many people thought died in prison a while back. But, as many of you now know, he did not. He died relatively recently, right? But, not in prison. So, how do so many people remember him dying in prison? I got a story for you. So, I'm going to put another story in the comments if you guys want it, because I got two that do this effect. But this one's my favorite. So, I'm at summer camp. It's an all-boys camp. We like to yank each other. Not actually. I'm not about that life. So, but we're at the summer camp. We don't have internet access. We can't bring our phones. Only the counselors have internet access. And they internet allies some stuff. And one of them finds out on Facebook, or doesn't find out. And here's that Nick Cage, Nicholas Cage, the one and only, died. So we all believed him. All 1,000 of us thought that there would be no more bad Nicholas Cage movies. But at the same time, there'd be no more National Treasure. So. But we. But he's alive. Nicholas Cage is alive. Still making bad movies. So. How exactly is this possible? Well. Facebook was wrong, and we couldn't find out, so we were wrong. Same thing happened with Nelson Mandela. Pretty self-explanatory in the end. Okay, on to the next big theory, which I enjoy much more because it involves Japanese candy. The Kit Kat. Kit Kat. How do you spell it? K-I-T dash dash one dash. K-A-T. Kit Kat dash Kit Kat. Yeah, you get it. You get my point. But that's not what's on the wrappers. Now, now is it? It's not. It's just, what's on the wrappers is Kit Cat. No dash. Okay, but much like my favorite animes and hentais, Kit Kat. Kit Kat originated in Japan. Japan, great country. So, in Japan, it's still spelled the kit dash cat. So, why is this? Well, be because they want Japan deserves the right to have the Kit Kat. And I know there's going to be someone in the comment section, probably a girl that got into an argument with this, like, No, no, it's not true. Uh, the Mandela effect's real. Oh my god. Well, proven. Oh my god. Wow. Well, you know this was Japan wins World War II. Yeah, no. Um, that's not what she sounds like. She's a nice lady, but yeah. So. That's why. Japan first draws a little seal. Quite literally, just an animal seal. Um. Uh, and need something else. Well, America's nice and cheap. They don't want to spend money on anything. So, they, of course, don't put a dash. And the Japanese one has a dash. It just marks how it's done. But everyone remembers it having a dash because before Kit Kat was so popular in America, almost more popular than it was in Japan, it had a dash on it because they were the same thing, basically. But it's different now. No dash. So I'm salty. That, I don't really know why, but it seems pretty legit, in my opinion. So, now that we've covered the two 
most examples of the Mandela effect. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That was weird. I'm not going to do that again. That was weird. Please, never let me do that again. Any of you. I just like myself. Hmm. Alright. So. The Mandela Effect. How does it work? Well, two main theories are time travel and parallel universes. Let's start in parallel universes. That is the least accepted theory. Which I get why. It, it's the most bullshit. But this theory is that two parallel universes. One slightly different, where Kit Kat has a dash on it, which it does in this one too. You know? Okay, let's go with the Mandela one. Kit Kat. Er, Man Nelson Mandela dies in one. Okay, this one. My middle finger. Alright. And he dies in prison in this one, number one. Alright? So, people think that everyone in this universe who remembers it was transferred to this universe. Interlocked. Intertwined. So, Nelson Mandela still died out of prison, but everyone remembers him dying in prison. Now, let me use some dictionary powers on you sons. A parallel universe means a universe that is slightly different than the universe that you were in. I believe in this theory. I believe in the multiverse. But, if you if the universe is the same, they're not parallel. So this, this theory is a paradox. It doesn't make any sense. Get rid of it. It's stupid. Yeah. Now, on to the more accepted theory. Theory of time travel doing this, where someone goes back in time and drops a pencil, like the butterfly effect movie, and then comes back and the Twin Towers were destroyed on 9 9-11. Which d didn't happen. Uh, fuck those people. Um. So. Time travel. It seems legit. People can go back in the time in the near future, even if it's thousands of years away. Not near, but like, eventually. No. They can't. Time travel, yeah, that's probably going to happen. I believe in that. But, if you use the science of time travel, what happens? Oh, I'll tell you. So, if you travel faster than the speed of light, you travel forward in time. Due to you going faster than the universe around you, you'll end up in a different timeline. Why? Because backwards time travel is stupid and it doesn't exist. That's why. Now, you may be thinking, is the Mandela effect fake? Yes, it is. It never existed. Ever. It, 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 it's stupid. It was literally just some dude, probably attractive. I don't know. I saw the videos. He, he was look good looking like me, myself, and I. But he was wrong. And everyone else was wrong. It's, 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 it's stupid. And sure, you go in the comments, prove me wrong, and I'll try to defend myself. And if you guys manage to convince me, I'll believe in the Mandela Effect. I'll post a video on why I believe in it and some harder evidence. But because of all the evidence that you guys gave me and all the reasons, everything you said is stupid and bullshit. All of it's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. So, friends, family, loved ones. I gotta tell you, your effects are stupid. You're stupid. Do a little more research next time. I'll catch you all in the next video. This was Clill the Legendary and my rant against the Mandela Effect.